pinching you just a hair. Okay, like that. Yeah, guys, getting that new fitting for the new socket to improve my quality of life. Because I'm so active, um, I could be a lot more mobile if I had better sockets, so I had to find a better practitioner. Back, you just, just Back. Just like, just like that. Right there. Right there. What up, Sharifa? Hey, Michelle, how you doing? What's up, mate? Yeah, getting fitted for the new socket. Time to start jogging around. Step it up. See all the space in this, like with it on, see all this? Affects my quality of life, so. Getting new sockets. See the space in that? I can fit one and a half of my legs in there, almost. So what this is, it's like a cast, and you know, when um, hey, Quashetta, you know when um, um, like a woman is pregnant, and they like to get the measurements of the stomach. So you missed when he was um, actually outlining the bone, um, the different bones like the knee and the side and the front, um, to make a better quality uh socket, and um. Actually, you'll see it on the uh, you'll see it on the uh, other side when he does that. But um, the casting is to get the the sizing of the stump that the socket needs to actually be, and not like this, like with all this space in here. So that's what's going on now, guys. see in a minute when I take this one off you all the process uh, he went through to get that cast on and outlining bone and all that you'll see in one second see that space in there even if you don't have a prosthetic you know that doesn't make sense right okay okay this is good I see the cast now that's the size of the socket. See the difference? Thank you. What up, Shakita? So the size of that in comparison to that already. You can see it, and the socket is not even made. It's ridiculous. fitted for some new sockets you know how i like to do what, what design should i put on these i had the versace i had the money then what, what should i put on these marvel what what should i do shakita you know how i like doing i gotta get ready for the summer for that grand opening right so i can wear some shorts to the grand opening give me an idea what design should i put on them you know i'll go with it monk talk to me You're gonna see the whole process from uh from the start when it gets over here, you'll be able to see how it started. Um and got to this point with the cast that he has over there. The cast is what they actually make, um, is what they use to reference uh the size of the socket. 
right there. What, put who wants smoke on it? I see the smoke. That's what you're saying? Put who wants smoke on it. The name of the store. Talk to me, Monk. Nay, what's up? What's going on? Uh, we could do that. I could do that, Monk. You know I could do it. You see, you, you didn't see the artwork I had in the store. If you see that artwork, maybe I should put that on there. The artwork I have on the wall. See, now I'm taking this one off. You'll get to see it start to finish. Get to see the whole process. Each murder, what's up? Wop. <laughs> I'm okay, Michelle. How you doing? See, that's one of the wounds that you get when you're diabetic and you have this, it take forever to heal. And when it heals, still leaves those marks. Things not the same. I'm okay, Michelle, how you doing? Good, you need the back one. All right, Monk, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the who wants smoke on one of them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other one. I'm gonna uh, copy the design. The design I got off the wall. As people not get off here, I'll show you. I'm gonna copy the design, and I'm gonna put that on one, right on the front. That'll be dope for the grand opening. You know, you're always coming up with something, Shakita. Look at my money dance. My money dance legs. They gotta go. That's what I'm putting on my, my YouTube profile. I got a crying face with my legs. Yeah, Mark, I got some, um, I had got the artwork um, done uh, after I painted. Um, it's actually in some pictures when I did the, uh, the toy drive for the kids, the uh, toy giveaway for Christmas. Uh, I did it in there because we have more space instead of moving around in the other store. But um, I got some artwork on the wall. Like it says, who wants smoke, got the crown and my name. And I'm gonna show you the, um, <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put the design on Facebook after I get off live. I just wanted people to kind of see this process um, of the casting to get uh, new sockets. Um, just something you gotta go through on a constant basis. Like I've had a few different sizes because like right after the, um, Surgery, you have the swelling, so they're one size. Um, but actually, this practitioner right here, um, I love him from the first time I spoke to him because it was some things he told me, like how generic the uh, make of the um, socket was. And you can tell because it was so much space. Um, these socks that I have to put on it called, we call them plies. Like, you know, five ply, three ply. You're supposed to put maximum maybe a two ply to, to go throughout your day um i think i have a total of about 13. i have two fives and a three on each side so that's like a whole nother socket it's crazy yeah that is a good idea right you should it is <laughs> it is a good idea i agree and that will be dope uh especially for the picture perfect moments for the green opening that'll be dope so i think that's what i'm gonna do well i know that's what i'm gonna do i don't know what i'm gonna do on the other side Monk came up with that, but remember, I got two. I got a design, Monk. I can't put, I can't put that on both prosthetic. And see, now he's about to wrap it with the casting. Made the mark all the bones, all the different bones I had, um, which is a reference for him once he begins to uh, mold, like, you know, make the molding, which it, which becomes the socket. He knows where the mark's at. I wouldn't know what the hell to do. That's why he's the practitioner. <laughs> yeah, Mr. This is trying to let, you know, people into my life, like, let them see. I mean, you know, everybody, y'all know me, how I get up and go, and you know how many people didn't know that I, I was dealing with? Oh, Monk, I like that. Monk, I really like that. 
Sis, I really like that idea. I never thought of that. Just taking put a family portrait like me and all the girls. I like that, Mom. And that'll be one I'll never change. I really like that, sis. I think that that's that's it. So you always coming up with something. And see, I gotta bend slightly so that the mold will be proper. Like when I uh, when I'm walking to bend my knee. Uh, it's like hard to explain. I've been going through it for a while, so I kind of understand it. But like I said again, I'm not the practitioner. I just kind of understand from being observant. It is, monk. That's prices. That's that's really dope. So um, I just want to share this with, with people. Like, you know, I've been doing the motivational videos and showing people, you know, how I uh, maneuver around sometimes in the house without the legs on. I fucking got knee pads. I crawl around. You know, I'm a real fucking person. And I ain't, I'm just not, I don't have too much fear of letting people in or letting them see what I do. You know, all the false pride. Plus, it's somebody that you could always help get out of a... a a detrimental situation like going through this. There's a lot of people that don't they don't have anyone to talk to about it. What up, they? Um, they don't have anyone to talk to uh, about situations like this, or um, they start feeling down on themselves. Like they start feeling like like a little less value, personal value. And I'm speaking from I'm speaking from a, um, a personal standpoint. Although um, I keep my head held high and I move around like I do, it's times when um when I went through some of those motions, but I shake that shit and I get up and I just go, but everybody is not equipped with, with a mentality like that, especially, uh, you know, dealing with amputation. Like, okay, uh, physically I am a, a, a little less of what I used to be shit. Um, they say it costs an arm and a leg, well, it costs me two legs, <laughs> but but it's okay. Um, what up, Mara? Go, my baby, what up? You better be at work. Thank you, thank you, sis. Um, thank you, mom. Um, yeah, I just so you know, um, it's just important to me to put these things up there, and like I tell people, like you don't have to like um, me personally, or we don't have to be buddy buddy or um, socialize. But I'm putting something. I'm trying to put something out there that can help somebody else. Just share the shit, like share it with them. I don't, I don't care if you don't want to share my, my video or like my video, uh, show it to somebody. You know, a lot of y'all work in these facilities. A lot of the women I know, we got family members going through some, some things and they're not even amputees. So, you know, you could kind of run on them. Like, what's your excuse? This guy gets up every day, gets to what he has to do, helps motivate, love my community, Assist everyone I can in any way I can, when I can. But like I told another amputee, I got a point to prove. People, oh, you don't have nothing to prove to anybody and all that shit. Yeah, I'm unorthodox. I got a point to prove, see? That's the casting, like the other, see? And he has, uh, he knows where the bones are based on those markings and, and things like that. Yeah, you already know, E. As far as like um the soccer, as far as um when measuring meat, it's like the last part. Then it's all on it's all in his hand, and um just based on like the um the love you have for the position, um when dealing with people like myself and others, um you have to be like this brother, the one you have to be like that. Like it's not it's not just his paycheck. You know, I want to make sure you got a better quality of life. You can move better. Um, you can stand better. You can walk better. You feel better. Um, when we feel better, we do better. But, um, that's just kind of the simple part. Um, when I come to get the new ones and I do the test walk and all that, I definitely have you guys on board. Um, Thank you for supporting me these few moments. Um, share the video. Like, share some hope with somebody and let them know. Just get your ass up. And um, you can't make no excuses. My brother don't make no excuses. Or this brother doesn't make no excuses. Or I don't care if you say the motherfucker I hate over there. He don't make excuses. But whatever you say, but um, help motivate. I know some people are stuck in their beds. I really know some people I try to help. I've been to their houses. I've called. 
left messages. Um, I know a young lady younger than me um, just became an amputee, a bilateral amputee um, last year. She hasn't been out of the bed. I'm not exaggerating. She hasn't been out of bed using her commode back in the bed, is in a slump. And I can't even pull her out going, telling jokes. And no matter what I do, what's up, ma? No matter what I do, um, it ain't pull this young lady up out of it. And I knew her like all her life. Um, it's kind of like a, like a family. Um, my mother is in our, our lives. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I won't say the young lady's name, but um, she's young. And, you know, she went through some problems. She's a bilateral. She hasn't gotten out the bed yet. But um, I'm going to end this live, man. Um, I'm going to do my money dance, but I got to give them up. Now. But I'm going to do that, Monk. I, I like what you said. That's what I'm going to do on one and the other. And I just roll one leg up at a time because I, I usually have both. I just do that. Or when I, when I wear shorts, they'll both be showing. But I like that. Um, I appreciate your time coming into my life and into my world. And um, just trying to motivate. Assist, whatever I can do. Um, I love you guys. I'm in this live. Take care.